Hello friend humans, Lucas Levy Keppel here, about to head out on a bike packing trip. I'm going to head a little bit north of Claremore, Oklahoma. And I've got a final few details to get take care of before I head out, but I'm looking forward to this trip and I hope you'll come with me. Should be about 45, 46 miles to get up there and uh, I'm hoping that if I can stretch it just a little bit, I can actually make 50 miles today, my first half century. <laughs> I know some of you might be saying, Lucas, what are you doing? Wearing a backpack on a bikepacking adventure? Might be a little bit dorky, but I've got my water bladder in there, my food for the trip. I'm only going for one night, but I'm looking forward to getting back in the hammock, experiencing bikepacking once again. Whew. It's a hot day. It's supposed to be up into the 80s, but the 80 to 90% humidity is more the problem as we go through. Should be a good trip. This part of the trail, one of my favorites in Tulsa itself. I do enjoy riding these bike paths. Oh. And it's not like they could run a different road or anything along here. Really the only use this has. Oh, about to make a turn. Whee! Whew. About the only real use this has is as parks and cycle path. So why not take it? Keep cyclists off the road, give people a beautiful place to ride along. And with the Mingo Creek running so high right now, it's very pretty. We've had enough rain to make this actually work out. Continuing along Route 66 here. Did this before on the way out to the Blue Whale. So it's nice to be on a familiar route, familiar-ish. But Route 66, not very well traveled these days. River. Well, I've made it here to First Pres Claremore. Now I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Whew. Fortunately, there's been some clouds in the sky, so it's not been as hot as it could be, but wow, this has been a challenging trip. I think mostly because most of the ride has been on highway and uh, it's pretty boring. I'd rather be on windy bike paths if I could. But I'm here, so I'm gonna take a few minutes to take a break.
Hello, friend humans. I am exhausted. I'm about maybe five, ten miles away from the lake. I'm so close, but I just can't keep going. This is uh, what they call a bonk in cycling terms, and I've never really experienced it before, but when I stand up, I get lightheaded. And it's worse when you're trying to pedal. That's uh, not so good. So, I'm sitting here on the side of the road, waiting for a pickup. Fortunately, my my dad just got a new bike rack and uh, lives not too far away, so I was able to ask him to come by and pick me up. I feel a little embarrassed about it, but I think trying to do a half century and bike pack that distance it was a little bit much on me. Also, it didn't help that almost all of the elevation was loaded at the end. This is the hill that got me. It doesn't look like much. There was a whole series of hills back there and also some gravel roads that were just tough on me. But I'm going to learn from this. I'll try to bike pack a little bit closer next time. And maybe something that doesn't involve so many highways. It was really not fun to be just exposed out there and having cars coming by. Much prefer to be on bike pads or on single track if I can find it. So maybe I'll have to try something a little different. Take the bike out to a different place altogether. Whew. But I'm safe. I'll be making it home. So I won't be camping out tonight. But I think uh, my spouse Ilana will be happy with me being home tonight too. I can hear the car coming. I still think it's them. Salvation has arrived. Thank you, parents. You are awesome.